Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to show you a new Google Chrome extension, Helper Bird, that helps you customize the World Wide Web. So here's a typical article on biography, it's Shirley Chisholm, and this is something that your students might be reading, right? But they can change a lot about the appearance of this article. Great for customizing the web and great for accessibility. So font, let's say we wanna do it in a standard font. Here, I'll do Comic Sans, all right? I hit save and you'll see it doesn't get every single font. So some fonts like here and all this box, except for the title, but the rest become Comic Sans there, right? And the key when you do that is you have to make sure under font, you have to make sure that button is clicked. If that button is clicked, it's not. Here, I'll change it to something else. Let's change it to Bookman. Save. And now it's that Bookman font, right? So it, you get, and there's all sorts of varieties as you can see. I oh, will do Courier. Great. And there, yeah, look at that. You see that? So font is one of the free ones. I'll just turn that off real quick. You also have a magnifier. You can play with word spacing also. How great might that be for your kids? I mean, that's, yeah, see look at all that word spacing you can do. Really cool options there. I'll turn that one off. And then there is a reader mode. So I'll just enable that real quick. And it looks pretty good, except for sometimes with some pictures, as you can see, it's really distorting this picture. The one thing I will say is if a page has an embedded YouTube video, forget it. They got to fix that because you just see the video and then that's it. So they have to fix that. The other thing I like is that you can do a dark mode in reader mode. That one, I kind of really like that dark mode. Again, the photo, it doesn't happen with all of them, but with sometimes just like there, they do get somewhat distorted. Let's see what else is available. You can do some tra Google Translate is incorporated in the free version. You can see there's a lot of paid stuff. We'll do color blindness in a second, but I just wanted to show you immersive reader real quick. I'll enable it. And the way that works, because we don't really need that, is what I would do right here is I would click the text. And then right click to bring up Helper Bird. And then we will do Immersive Reader. Shirley Chisholm is best known for becoming the first black congresswoman, 1968. Representing me. All right. Anyway, so Immersive Reader is integrated with Helper Bird as well. Uh, just looking at the color blindness settings that they have there. So there is the emphasize links. So look what that did to the biography logo because that's a link. But look what it does to these. It puts this multicolored line underneath them, uh, which is really nice here. Multicolored line. I really like that. I could see here multicolored line. Uh, I could see and right there as well. I could see people using that you know, who don't need that for any kind of color blindness issue. Um, there's also this stroke, and then you can change the color of the font for that as well. So you see that that really changes things up as well. But all in all, a really useful tool to customize the way students or anyone views World Wide Web content. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.